I have been living in a dream world for the past four months and I have finally woken up to reality. Welcome to a video, new video guys. This is, oh wow. Okay, so I actually got access to the alpha early. Um, the alpha that everyone is supposedly gonna have tomorrow, okay? It is not good, not good at all. Okay, there are so many issues, so many problems. I am done with this. It is completely a scam. This game, there's no way that this game is gonna ever come to anything close that they want. And it's just never gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. There's no way it can happen. No one's gonna go for this, this trash of a game. Okay, it is complete garbage. Let's just, let's just go back a little bit here. Let's, let's look at this. Okay, this is a music file from inside their game. You can see the link to the actual site that takes you to this music. Also, look on the top. They also have the Nightmare Before Christmas. Guaranteed they didn't get those rights. Oh wait, let's read this. From that company, it says, hmm, yeah, I can't find a record of our, of our clients with that name. Their Kickstarter seems to have comments about people who think they are out to scam and get free money. I'll keep an eye out to see if they actually launch a product or not. Okay, they launched one. The Alpha. They're gonna get sued. And I hope they do. Okay, let's let's get into some of this this the features. Okay. They promised that they would have the city and the pantheon up for us to see in the alpha. This is what we're expecting. Okay, this is this is from their Kickstarter. This is what everyone was expecting to see. You ready to see what we actually got to see? This. This is what we actually see. Look at these buildings. These buildings are pre-assets, just plopped down. Inside the Pantheon, we got these ridiculously large books that are way out of scale. And you can tell because their textures are horrible. They're not made to be this big. So why, why? Their walls completely blank. There's nothing on them. Inside those buildings that we saw over here, these buildings, this is this is this is what's in, this is what's inside of them. There, there's no like colliders on any of it. You can walk through every single building except for the Pantheon. Every single building you can walk right through. This is their PvP arena. Looks like cheese <laughs> and pillars everywhere. And this is what they're showing for their you know four months of work on this game since they released the pre-alpha <laughs> this is four months of work four months of work these little squares down on the bottom and over here these are the building plots that you can build on if you're assigned to that specific location and look at the terrain they decided to create to make it look better and to overlook the city. I mean, we're looking at cylinders rotated just to put them up there and then expect it to look good. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the player models. Still a ball with the texture of the mannequin on it. I talked to Callum a lot the last two days and wow, apparently for the mannequin to show up for everyone else, you literally have to check one box and then it shows up for everyone. One box. That's all they have to do. They don't do it. <sighs> oh man. So here, here's some interesting stuff. This was posted today. Okay, so they talk about how, you know, it's 
it's hard to do rotations because the rotations don't snap the way they want them to. And Wolf says, definitely, we have discrete rotation mode for every 22.5 degrees. We're hoping to have them sent out in the next couple of weeks. Here's the funny part about that. It's default in the Unreal Engine. There's a button for it right there. It's already in it. In the editor, it's right there. 22.5 under the 45 section. It's there already. It's literally just a click of the button and it's done. Why does it take them two weeks to do that? Because they have no idea what they're doing. Now this is from their, their mod channel. This was posted on the 12th of March. It says Portal is working on a huge server update so thousands of players can play at once. But it should be invisible to you guys. Thousands, guys, thousands. Where's the millions? Where's the hundreds of thousands? Where's the ten thousands? Millions, hundred thousands. Where where is it? Where's this millions of things? They're thousands. Thousands, guys, thousands. Also, they right here you can see that they're cleaning stuff up, and this was back in March. So you can see that they're wiping messages because people are finding them in their discord and then wiping them away. Okay. <laughs> and here in March, we can see Wolf basically saying, let the ban hammer fly if necessary. Basically ban anyone you feel like you want to. And then they're like, oh, well, I can't ban. I can't do anything yet. And he's like, oh, well, let me fix that. And then he gives power to everyone. He says, great power comes with great responsibility. And then the ban hammers fly. This is when everyone is getting banned from the channel for asking a legitimate question. This is the reason because Wolf gave him the option to say, let the ban hammer fly. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. So this is a complete nightmare. Should I show you what's inside the alpha? Let's let's look and see what's inside the alpha. Get ready for this. This this is good. All right, guys. Here is that's the here is in. Oh, now I can't even. There we go. In game. Oh, look. We even see a player. We see a player, guys. We see a player. Wait, come back. Let's just run through this building that has a fake facade on it. Let, let's do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yep. Oh, there he is. There's the player running away. He's that little green ball over there. We can, can we get to him? Let's see. Come back. Come back, little green ball. Come back. Okay, so we see that these buildings are all different architectures. Like, look at this. Like, this is, they're all completely different, right? Horrible. And then they have these gigantic white blocks. We're not exactly sure what these white blocks are. They could be building plot areas, or they could just be freaking white blocks for placeholders for buildings that they wanted to put in but didn't have time to put it in. I don't know. But they have this white fog, okay? This white fog does nothing. It makes you have that realization that maybe this actually is generated. No, it's not. You can see it above. Look, right above, right up here, you can see the mountain already generated and then the white fog comes through okay there's no like fading either it's just a flat line that's just like horrible like this is what they expect from the city do you remember what they had in the in their kickstarter for the city like look at this i'm literally running through all the buildings because these buildings are asset packs that are made for cinematics to be in the background not to be actually placed where people can go and look there there's no organization to them look they're all turned this one's turned a little bit this one's turned that direction that one's turned that way i mean they're all rotated you can see the building generated already above it behind it here's the pantheon i mean you can't even see through it because the white fog is so close like we go in, is this anything like that video that they showed? No, not even close. Where's the Coliseum in the middle? There is none. There's not. You ready for my favorite part in here? 
Blanket text. Large text. Medium text. Regular text. Okay, this is a disaster for them. And I am done. There's no way I'm covering this game anymore. This game is going to be a scam. And there are going to be legal actions against them. There's no other way that this is possibly anything but. How... How can we say that this is something that is going to be an actual game? You can't. It's not. It's never going to be a game. It's not. <laughs> it's. This is a scam. There is no way that they're going to produce this game. Everything that they have on here is all just freaking assets you can get yourself. Okay. I streamed this game earlier today. You can check it out on my Twitch. For like two hours, I streamed and we talked about all of this. Okay, this is a trash game. There's a lot of issues and there's going to be legal actions. Y Combinator has to do something. They have to kick them out. They have to refund the money that the supporters have already given and the seed money that Y Combinator gives. Y Combinator gives like 120 to 125 thousand dollars just for being in Y Combinator and starting a project. <laughs> On top of the 64 thousand that they got from Kickstarter, plus other investors inside of Y Combinator invested in them because they're in Y Combinator. How did they get in Y Combinator? Because they have a friend who is in the hiring area or like approval area and push them through. They didn't go through any of the checks and balances to see if this is a legit game or not. Legit anything. They didn't do it. So they skipped everything and they got in and now everyone that's in there gave, or not everyone, but some people gave them money and said, hey, look, you know, this is... We're gonna give you this because you have a really cool thing and you got in right so they have hundreds of thousands of dollars that they got from people that are supposedly supporting them and they come out with this now i've talked with several <laughs> of these developers like developers who develop games and they're looking at this game and saying this can be done in one week how is this basically a year now of development and this is what they have to show. I mean, that city that we looked at right there took them four months to put together. Why? Why did it take four months to put down buildings? No one knows. This game is a scam. Stay clear. If we keep access to this game, which I'm sure my access is going to be revoked relatively soon. I'll keep you updated with more of the crap that comes out about this. But man, this this is not good. And we are definitely not going to support this ever again. What a scam. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, 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 wow. Again, here's what we were supposed to see with the Pantheon. Didn't see anything nearly like that. The main overall structure is the same. Why? Because it's a pre-asset. Nothing else from this is in the game. This is what they promised for opening alpha. Pantheon and the city. Now let's let's look here. Let's let's look at the city. Where I think they have one for the city, right? Do they have one for the city on here? We might just have to watch the kick the the video here. Oh yeah, here's the city. This is the city. Does that look anything like what we just saw? No. No. No, it does not. Not at all. <laughs> All right, we'll make this video short. It's complete scam, complete trash. There's no way they're going to run with the money. As soon as they get this out to everyone, they've sub they've completed their goal, which basically says that they will get the alpha. 
that's it you'll get an alpha and they have an alpha and that's all they have to do is give an alpha and then they can run with the money because they did what they promised all right guys <laughs> i will catch you all later thank you for joining me for this video it's a complete disaster peace out